my own was 1991. I didn't know NKO was in London. So I was going to a party in Stratford. So but I began to call my apartment. Then I was expecting a message there. So I put a 20p coin into the box. After I finished talking, I see a 10p left. So I didn't want to waste it. I said, oh, okay, let me call the Jabiola. So someone picked the call and said, I said, can I speak to the Jabiola? The person said, who is that? I said, my name is Dele Momoto. Then I heard, Dele, then me too, I said, who is that? My, my name is Moshu Dabiola. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you call it. Woo! Woo! Phone wanted to cash, 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 <laughs> God punish poverty. Ah, no. You won't believe me. Said daily one. Where are you? I said I'm in Stratford, sir. Can you come to my house right away? I don't know long if I have a for it, I don't for it. Come and see. Come and see. You will think I was Ben Johnson. <laughs> Then, so jump on the tube when you get to Great Portland Street Station. When you come out, so walk across to Chester Terrace. I'll be waiting for you. Hmm. Oh will be waiting for you. Wow. Imagine, son of Yao Yao. Hmm. Hey, waiting. So I got there to got the long story short. It was a video phone. I pressed it. Phew. No response. I, didn't have to change my <laughs> I was going to press it a second time. Then George is a evil guy. Then I opened the door. He said, Chief is waiting for you in his bedroom. In that place, I am with the elevator on the fourth floor. I said, What? Then I opened the door. I saw my pa on his bed. He was in his house coat. The mm -hmm. son was sitting there watching a video of a speech he made somewhere. To cut the long story short, Started just the daily one. Can I go now? He was talking about my life, <laughs> yes. you know. Then he said, uh, I told you to go and marry. You have not married. <laughs> so what are you waiting for? Yeah. You can't put signature on a woman's tie. So what's your problem? <laughs> <laughs> I said, Daddy, I said, I don't have money for that. He said, no. Nobody waits until you have everything. You have to do it that you are. I said my girlfriend, my wife today will work out. So it was time for me to go. Then he looked at me, then they were. Then they were gone. Let me find you something. Two and a half grand be okay for you. Me that it was 290 pounds that followed me to London. Somebody is now asking me if 2500 would be okay. In 1991, of course. Oh boy, I stood up. My legs were already shaking. Then he looked at me again. He took out the chair. Oh, look at me, London. Do you have an account in London? I said, no, sir. Okay, I will ask them to open two for you. Wow. Then you even said your girlfriend is around, then I'll make the money from around. I went on the floor. <laughs> on the floor? Ah, four grand. Straight. Like one. Ah, yes. It was more than my salary in the one year. I know. I went on the floor. Then, as he was writing the check, then he turned it back. They are calling Haywood. There are no accounts in the UK. This was not true. It was a Sunday. I forgot the elevator. Yeah, it was that one. Money? No. The easiest way to go mental is to see the kind of money yeah, that you will never see your life. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And unexpectedly, suddenly, so I came downstairs. I couldn't open the door. I ran back upstairs. You could see that. Yes. He has money. I'm telling you. So now I have to go and let me out. When I got into Regent's Park, that was mm -hmm. overlooking the Regent's Park. So I came mm -hmm. I, 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 mm -hmm. I was singing. Like you said, I could not sleep. I'm telling you, money is a demon. Money. I was afraid. I said, maybe something will fall on the check. 
and I won't be able to go back to him. Maybe somebody will take I, I was thinking of then in the morning. I went to number 2266 Pentru Bill as a mm. And you can still remember. How, how can I, you will forget your biggest, your <laughs> that's, biggest that's break in life. Me. Your biggest break in life. How that can you forget? Colin Hayfood, I will never forget his, his name. The bank manager, later was Peter Monfort, who, who became his personal assistant. Wow. wow. Yes. Yeah. Chief Abiola employed Peter Monfort from National Westminster Bank, East Coast Bank. Mm. Ah. Then the people have money to do it. No. <laughs> no, no. If you have the money, you can't spend it mm. that way. Yes. The man was. No, no, no. no. Besides, it's uh, uncommon. Mm. Anywhere I can tell you, let the gay sit down I here, time, yeah. let Warren Buffett sit down here. They, 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 they can't be the center of attraction. Yes. Mm. We lost a man. Yes. We lost a man. That was how he opened the account. Then, when I saw Colin Hill the following day, the first thing I did when he saw the chair, oh, from Chief Abiola. So, so, would you need some cash? I look at the man, give me one grand. I guarantee that one inside my pocket. <laughs> have denied it, the other candidate has denied it. In any case, there is no upper limit to the expenditure that can be incurred by any candidate in the presidential election or in any election under the law of Nigeria. All these are just, uh, just trumped up charges, excuses as it were, not reasons. What message do you have as the last question to your team supporters across the country? That, that there is plenty of hope, that there's no doubt at all that the president and the military government will leave office on the 27th of August. And there might be need to meet and discuss some details. And I'm always ready and willing to discuss details. This is not a civilian versus military situation. The preponderant majority of the Nigerian military and their family voted overwhelmingly for me in the last election. So there was no question of the military. There are quite a few, just a few officers who probably are unhappy about, about, the, about the changes. We will, we will give them all the assurances they need. There is, there is room for every Nigerian, especially the top officers who have been trained at tremendous cost with taxpayers of Nigeria. The list of people which have been which people have alleged have been prepared by me for dismissal or retirement is not true. I have no such list. We need all the soldiers we have in the, in the Nigerian army, especially the senior ones who have been trained at considerable cost to taxpayers of our country. Thank you very much. I'd like to confirm uh, the kind of relationship you have now with the president. Uh, president Baganda is his friend. Look at the house. Take the snapshot of all the pictures in the house. You'll find more of the pictures in my house than my own pictures. We've been friends for over 20 years. Very, very, very close.